some guys will come back to channel so their, few their hours ago of their test net now if you don't did now just in case you didn't participate in the first version that is the version one then you, you are not too late to join this version two okay you can still join this version two but for the sake of those of you who have been doing this from version one so this is like a continuation for you so if you are just joining us then just follow through what i'm about to say right now so either you just joining us or or you are or you've been doing this for or you have been doing this before just follow suit as i'm going to explain to you so the first thing you want to do is to come over to their website and then you connect both your evm wallet which is your metamask or your OKS, whichever one you want to use so connect it and also connect your kepler wallet so so this is where you're going to connect your wallet just click on connect wallet and it's going to pop up like this so the first thing you want to do is connect you can connect your cosmos or your ethereum address so let me click on cosmos and then select kepler you can select kepler and you can select lip wallet whichever one you want to use then this so this is my cosmos address and uh, let me choose the one for ethereum i'm going to select my OKS wallet and we are good so i'm in right now so this so this is it now this particular bird right here uh it's a japanese bird so it's what you're going to be interacting with which you're going to be buying some stuff with it i mean buying some stuff like like glasses like if you come over to this shop right here you're going to see glasses art bags sticks scarf neckwear a jacket and so on but before then there's something you need to do you need to go and do this gitcoin passport right here so i'm going to click on click click on sign up so click on sign up so i'm going to choose I'm going to choose a username so this is my EVM address and then this is my sunrise address so let me choose a username so i'm choosing my i've chosen a username i want to use then i'm going to click on sign up with gitcoin Okay, so it's showing error maybe i'm just i'm just going to go ahead and use the default username then now this is git this is the uh gitcoin passport website so in order for you to use it for sunrise you need to have i, I think you need to have like minimum of 16 16 score so i'm going to show you how you can do that right now so i'm going to connect my wallet So it's updating my my score right now. And as you can see, I'm having 32 right here. And that's because I have a that's because there are some tasks that you need to do in order for you to to increase this your humanity score right here. So one of them that you can easily do is to go and do this particular one, this Binance, this Binance one right here. So one of the ones, uh, it's actually one of the easiest that you can do. So in order for you to get this Binance, this Binance verified for you, just click on this and it's going to pop up like this. So you need what they call Binance account found token. So if you click on this, it's going to take you to this particular page. So this particular page is where you're going to log into your Binance account. You log into it and then you now connect your your EVM wallet. You connect your EVM wallet to it, which is there, which is going to be on this page and you sign then you're going to get this get bab token so also once you've gotten this then you are good to go it already verified and then you'll be able to get your 16 score right there mind you you need to have usdt minimum of one dollar usdt in your binance account in your binance account in order for you to because they are when i did mine i paid one us dollar for it i i think yeah one us dollar so you need to have usdt in your your wallet and once you've done that this will prove you're very uh, you are verified by binance and uh, and have completed the kyc process so once you've done that you're going to get this 16 point right here so this particular one is another thing entirely but i believe once you've once you've done this you should be good to go and then you can as well add these ones like this particular one uh connecting connecting to discord connect to google account to linkedin so you if you add all this together so this is two 
this is two points and and you can do this particular one as well if you want to but but then again you don't have you don't have to do every single one of them so just do the ones that are you know that are easier for you to do but this particular one right here will go a long way for you if you do this so i have done this and i've done this i just decided not to do every other ones right there this coin base this particular one for Coinbase, I uh, I mean, I can't use Coinbase since I'm in Nigeria, so I can't use Coinbase. So so that's why I didn't bother to, to do this particular one. Okay guys, so this is me coming back after over an hour that I've tried to do this particular this particular connection. So one thing you must ensure is that make sure you have at least 16 Gitcoin, I mean, uh, Gitcoin Passport I, uh, Humanity Score. You, once you have 16 Humanity Score minimum, then you are good. The only issue there is just for you to connect your Gitcoin to your Sunrise. So if it's giving you problem, just keep on try it again. You can try it later on and like so because it took me for it took me a while before I, before this thing could actually connect. So if it's showing you different different errors like uh, Gitcoin data not available, Gitcoin uh, this account does not exist whatsoever. Whatever error is showing you, just make sure you try it again later. That is the only solution. That is what I did and I've been able to connect my my own right now so this is the available harun yen that i'm having which i believe i should have more than this i don't know why it's giving me just 50 just 50 but i will show you how you can get more of this particular thing so how you can increase your harun yen so the first thing you want to go and do is to ensure that you you go and carry out some some tax on on the on the test on the test net so so I'm going, so the first, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you connect your wallet as usual and then also make sure that you get, or you get token from the faucet. Now, if this is your first time, you need to go and get that, you need to get test token from the faucet. But if this is not your first time and you, you, you can act, you can try to get from the faucet. If it's showing some errors, you can proceed with the one that you have in your wallet initially from version one. So then that is what I'm going to be using for this particular test net right now. So, just, so so if this is your first time, just go ahead and ensure that you get token from the first set. But if this is not your first time, you can get token from the first set and you can proceed with the ones that you have in your wallet. Okay. But then that doesn't stop you from getting token from, uh, from that first set. So make sure you make, just make sure that you do that. So go to swap. I'm going to go to swap right now. And that is why I'm going to swap my asset. So I'm going to select rise and atom and then enter the amount of, you know, the amount I want to use in swapping. So once I, once I get there, I'm going to swap it and then get things done. So click on swap and then wait for it to, to go through. So once it, uh, so once it's gone through, then you click on approve and then you approve the whole transaction. So once you have approved the transaction, it's going to be verified on the blockchain. So once it has verified, then that is the first the first step that you need to do that is the first step that you need to do so the next one that you need to go and do with what you so now you can choose any asset anyway you can use usdc you can use uadt whichever asset that you want to swap this whole thing for so you can you can swap to any different any token of your choice and the next one is going to be you providing liquidity so i'm going to provide liquidity right here so i'm going to use the the atom and rise that i that I just swapped. So I, I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and provide liquidity right here. So once you enter the amount you want to use, it's going to fill it up for the order. So just make sure that you have a balance, like, uh, like uh, the amount you are going to use, make sure you have it in both, in both different currency. I mean, different, different token pairs and then be able to get things done. And once you've done that, all you just need to do is to, click on the add liquidity and it's going to verify on the blockchain so once it has verified you proceed to uh you proceed to to governance now one thing you need to note about the governance is that for every one v rise that you have you're going to get ten thousand arun yen from there so how exactly can you get this uh this v rise so what you need to do is to go back to liquidity uh, uh, liquidity pro uh, provide uh, i mean provision then once you get there, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see scroll down and then you're going to see claimable, claimable, uh, claimable rewards. Now, when you see claimable rewards, you, that's where you have your V rise there. So V rise come as a result of you providing liquidity for, 
But now if you look at the ones I have I have underneath, those are the ones I've already done in version one. So I've done so many liquidity provision back then and most of my liquidity provision are uh they, I mean they are around atom and rice. So this is what I've gotten so far and in total I'm having like 0 0.7 plus there. So I just click on claim button. So once you click on claim button, it's uh, going to get the uh, approval request and then you just click on it and then you are good to go. So once you've done that, you go back to governance again, then you are going to see what you claim there. So I'm going to, I'm going to reload this page. I'm going to reload this page, but I, well, I don't think the transaction has gone through now. The transaction has gone through right now, as you can see successfully. So I'm going to go back to, to governance again. So, so, so just go back to governance again and I'm going to see my V rise there. So the concept is just simple. Just go, just claim faucet from, uh, just claim token from faucet. Then swap, use the swap section to, you know, to swap from one token to another. And then you go and use it to provide liquidity. So for many of you who have been with me for a while now on this channel, you know what liquidity uh when into when we when it uh, when it comes to pro provision of liquidity you know what it actually means so it's all it's more like you are using two different token or coin pairing them each to each other and, pro and providing liquidity now as you can see that my v rise is already there and all you just need to do is to go and delegate the v rise you need to go and delegate the v rise to a particular validator so you click on it and this is my v rise so i'm going to enter the the amount I'm having there. So I'm going to use every single one of them. So, so which should give me about 7,000 plus. So, you know, so I'm going to click on delegate and then we are good to go. All right. So I've, I've delegated my, my V rise right now to, uh, to this particular validator. And the next thing is that if you now click on testnet version two, you're going to see that my my uh, my Harun yen has now increased. Now you can see my voting power right now is already uh, my voting power has increased, and this is my Harun yen. You can see that my Harun yen has now increased to seven to uh, to seven five two seven right here. So so once you have increased your Harun yen, the next thing that you can do is to go over to Aaron Shop. You go to Aaron Shop and go and buy any of these items that you are seeing right here so you can you can use your iron to buy any of these items like 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 glasses art bags uh so so this one is for art bag sticks neckwear jacket and so many other you know so many other items like that so just make sure you buy few items for your own for your own iron now the next one that you can do in order for you to get more iron is that aside the sticking and all that you can go to casino and and use your iron yen to you know to play some bets so there are some there are some bets that are available that are available there like uh, uh predicting the price of solana make a new or uh, make a new high by november 11 2024 so you can either select yes uh yes or no so you can bet yes or no which i i'm not going to do that i'm not i'm not going to do that so but, but you are free to choose whatever you do with your iron okay so you are free to do whatever you want and this particular one this arrow lottery so for this arrow interview you're going to need a red tie and I don't think I, I don't have any, I don't have anything at the moment. So I'm not eligible. So I, so in order for me to, to take part in this, which the total reward is 3 million Aryan and, and winners will be awarded 30,000 Aryan. Yeah. Individually. So, so I don't have, I mean, I don't have that red tie. So I might need to go and buy from the, from the, you know, from the shop. And so they have, so like I said, they have casino lottery and so many other and so many other things. So these are just all the things that you need to be doing every single day on on this particular on this particular version too. You know, buy some items from there and all that, and then you are and then you are good to go. And the last thing that you can do is go to go to their Discord. You go 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 to their Discord. 
and then there's a section whereby you uh, after you made a purchase of of some items on of for your for uh, for your rn take a picture of your rn and then snap uh, the, you can screenshot it and then send it to and, and then send it to the discord group so they are going to they're going to give you a role a, a role for participating in the in the rn okay so they're going to give you a role. so that is another thing that you can do aside aside this particular thing so that is basically what this their new testnet is all about so if you find any value in this video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and for you and in case you're having issues with the git coin passport also let me know in the comment section and i'll be ready to help you guys out so so thank you guys for watching always and i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now